All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. My name is Jason Yeager with EXP Realty and the Great Branson Homes team here in Southwest Missouri. Welcome to another uh, KB Core training. Um, we're still calling it KB Core training right now <laughs> um, until we officially switch over to Bold Trail. So when we do that, uh, be looking for, um, you know, more Bold Trail training. And as we talk about that, it will just convert over to uh, the same uh, CRM that we're used to using, I think, but with a little bit of an upgrade. Um, so uh, it's going to be pink instead of blue. <laughs> I think it's going to be the biggest, the biggest uh, change, pinkish purpley branding colors instead of blue with some minor tweaks to our UI. Um, but I'm excited for all these changes. Um, if you guys are not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure if you got some value out of this video, be sure to hit a like and uh, subscribe. Um, it really helps out the channel. We've got now, uh, we just hit a hundred subscribers. Um, uh, and that's a big milestone for me personally, uh, that allows me to be able to do some extra things with the channel now that I've hit that benchmark. So I'm looking forward to this growing. So thanks for, um, popping on today. Today, uh, we're going to cover, uh, the new custom pages that have been rolled out with, uh, the, the back end of the bold trail is one of the biggest major differences that I've seen uh, between KB Core and Bolt Trail. So let me share a screen real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here and give you some ideas to prompt you to be able to use, incorporate these into your business. If you're using your website, the front end of your website, um, to get leads, um, there's some really cool uh, uh, additions here now that I think we're going to be really um, useful for us. Uh, let me see, share... There we go. Okay. All right. Can you guys see that there? There's my YouTube channel there. So uh, make sure you're on the right one. I put the link down in the chat. If you're in the Zoom right now, and you can just click there and go to my YouTube channel. Here's the KB Core um, back end. You're going to go. So you're going to start by just going over here to the left hand side. And you'll see the, you know, the little uh, buttons over here, go to pages. This is new, this little button right here under your website manager. Click on pages. And this is um, gonna have a ton of new resources here for us, templates. Uh, be, really having the ability to have custom templated pages was kind of you know when we had custom pages before with kv core there you know you can do that but it was very kind of limited on what you could build out with a with a custom page it was really more text and maybe some image link um type uh options for you and that was that was it I, i've had um a handful of things that i've tried out uh, on the custom pages more of a, just like a, another kind of a blog but with you know some picture options in there now, yeah, everything is very customizable, um, and you can see here the templates that they have. All the templates right here, you can categorize them out: guides and resources, uh, landing and lead capture type pages, uh, listings here um, for open houses, about me type pages if you want, or you can just create one from scratch by clicking that blue button right there, completely from scratch. If you've been in using the um, advanced email editor template uh, at any length, you'll see that in here, let's just look at like this. Um, uh, here's one, preferred vendors, guides and resources. If you wanted to add all of your service, service providers that you partner with, uh, your lenders, your title company, your inspectors, your, um, you know, all the things, right? Uh, property managers, cleaners, you know, uh, it just, if you're going to make a list of those to give to people after the close, or certainly, you know, once they become a client, or you want to direct and add this as a page that you could direct people to in an email to get them to become a client, you know, um, you know, just as a free resource, if, if you choose how, where you want to, but this is a tremendous value as an agent 
to have a one-stop shop where they can go and get all of the, you know, all the things that you use on a regular basis, your people that you partner with, that you vetted, you know, if you can um, sell this in your buyer's consultation meetings, you know, that we're going to give you this full list. You're going to have access to all of these people that I know are going to do a great job, you know, um, and during the escrow period while you're purchasing or selling your home. And then even after beyond the close, you're going to have access to these people that are going to take great care of you. Um, building this list out in an easy one place. I've I've been operating with a spreadsheet <laughs> with an Excel spreadsheet with all of the, you know, it's the live link that I can go and update because there may be people along the way that you don't want on that list anymore. <laughs> and you, you know, you want to be able to not have to uh, create a PDF that you have to resend out an updated list. If it's a live uh, link, you know, that you can go in and edit at any time, then um, they can just know to go to that one place. So this would essentially create a web page for you that you can, um, you know, it's pretty much kind of done for you already. And then all you have to do is just put in um, what you want to put into these texts here. You can customize. Uh, what I was saying was the advanced email template has all of these other areas here where you can um, add your own features, add um, buttons, um, social links, uh icons other text now they have gifts <laughs> um that you can put in over here and if you're not familiar with how this works so basically these are all kind of rows right every everything is on a on a row here and you can move these around on the line and drag it to here put it back up to the top if you want just by going over to the far left hand side and finding that little uh movable arrow you click on it and then drag it to where the blue line goes back up to the top, right? This is the desktop view. You'll see these little buttons up here at the top left. So this is what it would look like if somebody was visiting your website on the on the desktop. And then here's your mobile view of it. So you can kind of, if you're building things out and you want to see how it's going to look, uh, I would say most of the time when people are visiting your website, they're probably on their mobile. The majority of traffic that comes in is through mobile. Um, and so you want to be at least cognitive of what it looks like on a mobile. Because sometimes it can get, you know, crunchy, messy, um, and not attractive, you know. And so pri my primary focus would be to build it out uh, based on the mobile experience rather than the desktop experience. Um, but you would go through here. You could uh, make any of these texts a backlink. Okay. So if you're just kind of using this as a initial prompt with, you can make these any, whatever you want, right? So these particular are bold, you know? So you can go in and uh, change that to be something else, right? Just by um, changing the text. Now my keyboard's asleep. Okay, I'll wait for that to wake back up. Um, but I just want you to know that within here, you can take, let's say, your title company, if you have um, a website for your title company that you want to backlink this to, to be able to check them out, explore them more beyond just reading it who you're, and the phone number, you know, you could put their website link, right, just by uh, signing it right there. And then making sure probably that you want it in a new window, you know, and put their, put their website right there. But, and you can change the fonts and stuff here. You can do uh, several other, uh, you know, settings to be able to customize this to your liking as well. Okay. So having it already kind of as a basic template to kind of go off of rather than building it out all completely from scratch. Otherwise then you're talking about going in and taking this cover, <laughs> pay this image, right. You know, and then put, uploading your own image, which you can do right here. If you didn't like that image, this kind of looks a little European to me. I don't know. <laughs> but we can make it whatever you wanted it to be, right? As long as it's going to fit that that format, you know, you could, now they have effects in here that you can go and take images and you can apply effects to the images if you wanted to. Um, I don't know. There's a filter. Oh, okay, so they've got like blur it out if you wanted to.
zoom in and okay yeah kind of if you if you explore play around with canva at all this is going to be fun for you <laughs> you know if you want to get lost in all of the design uh stuff but um keeping it pretty simple if you're just looking to try to edit um the you know any page that you want to build out you know is going to be with all of these okay let's see da, 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 da. here all templates that's what i wanted to do the uh advanced options here that's what i wanted to direct you guys to so right now this title of this page is preferred vendors you can make that title whatever you want it to be change the title under the advanced options right here right and then let's say i wanted it to be trusted service providers and that would also then by default be the slug right so you have like you know, exprealty.com slash, and then whatever comes after the slash is the slug, is the, the name of your page usually. You know, if you created a custom page, that would be the total URL for where you would be able to direct people to find that, you know. Um, and then you could have it live at the top of your site. That's what I would recommend, is that you'd want it to be somewhere where you don't, you know, you, to be able to give somebody else access to this, um, just having it on your website. So if you know the name of your website, give them, tell them to go up to the top, you know, and you could have several great resources for people to access by building these out, right? Um, but the slug there is just the each word with a little hyphen in between them is basically how that slug works. And you'd want, you can change this, but I wouldn't recommend changing the slug from the page title, okay? I would keep them one in the, in the same, just as a good rule of thumb. Google will appreciate that <laughs> when they try to crawl your, your website um, to find you. So um, if you are on a team uh, and you're building this out for like your team members, you could add to child sites here by clicking that button. And then all of your team members would be able to have access to that um, page as well. And then you decide what category this is going to fall under. Okay. So if you have other categories, um, you can search them here by default. This one is under guides and, and resources. Okay. But this is going to be important later. Um, deciding what category you want this page to, to live under, because depending on how you set up the front end of your website for the drop down, may depend, you may want it to just be its own thing, you know, its own little thing on the front end. Um, and I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. So if you're gonna link this page to an external page link, then you would wanna put that right here. And then the meta tag description would again, helps Google find you and helps give, you know, when you, let's, I'll show you, like when you Google, um, uh, go in here and like, um, uh, real estate providers near me. I don't know, something. Okay, so then down here, when you see like um, these results down here, you see like the, the link for the page right here. And then you have this little sentence right here below. That's the meta tag description. That's very common for everything that you, on your Google results, you'll have the, you know, the title of the page that you're about to go to right here. And then you'll see the meta tag description. Um, and it should be one or two sentences just further describing what this page is about. That helps Google be able to, you know, be able to start recommending you on the search results, you know, and making sure that whoever's Googling those types of keywords, um, they can best sort out, you know, your site from somebody else's site to decide if yours is more relevant to their search or not, you know. Um, and then th those keywords that you want to rank for, those meta tag keywords is also another thing that they're going to ask for right here, meta tag keywords. And you decide those 
you, you separate them out with a comma. It says comma separated. So always you just go in here and say, if you don't know how to write a meta tag description, real easy way would be just to go to chat GPT. <laughs> I love chat GPT. It takes care of so many things that you could get really um, lost and stumped and frustrated and not do something because you're not able to come up with, you know, content ideas or things, you know, like you just ask chat GPT to help you out. So I'll say, um, I'm building, gosh, can't type today, building a custom page on my website for my team. Great. Ransom Holmes is the name of my team, particularly. Um, custom, 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 custom page. Or trusted service providers. That's what I need to put in there. For trusted, I'm building a custom page on my website for trusted service providers. For my team, Great Brands and Homes team. Give me three ideas for a meta tag description for this page and see what it gives you. So here you got three different choices. You can copy and paste one of these that you really like Okay, so homes, team, trusted service providers, access our exclusive list of top rated service providers, search for quality and reliability for all your home brands and contacts today. So just pick one that you feel like is going to be good and just highlight it, right? Copy it, go over to your deal, paste it in. Boom. And then you can even go over here and say, um, you need ideas for you know, meta tag keywords. I probably my team would probably be the the most important one you'd want to be included in there. Or you as an agent, if you're a single agent, you know, um, your name, realtor, um, real estate agent, whatever. Um, but say, um, give me some ideas for meta tag keywords for this page. It's really having to think about it. Y'all, my computer is so slow. I'm sorry. Boom. You've got 10 keywords that you can use and just, you know, take those, put them over here. Brands and service providers, trusted real estate professionals, great brands and homes team. There's my team. Brands and home services. So yeah, you just take all of those ideas. You can put them in here, but again, you wanna separate those keywords out with a comma so that they know where the break is for each for each keyword. You know, These are just basic things when you're creating any kind of web page, you wanna make sure you have a good meta tag description and good meta tag keywords so that Google can find you. And then over time, over some months, it might take you six months or more, um, but if you're really being able to promote this page out yourself, and then Google will start doing its job of, of from promoting it out to people who are using these keywords um, that you're using to suggest your page to find you, you know, and this is free, free traffic that you get, to, uh, ho hopefully, you know, when they land on the page, they opt in and want to, you know, if you got something kind of a hook, 
you know, you could use this as a lead capture if you want, you know, off, make an offer of something at, towards the bottom, trusted real estate professionals, whatever you wanted to do. Trusted real estate professionals. And then once you've got all your keywords um, decided on there, again, you might make sure you have the right category that you want to put your page under. Okay. Save it. And then uh, let's look down here. Oh, this slug has already been taken. Oh, I think I made one earlier. I thought I deleted that page, but it may, may not must not <laughs> pick up on that yet. Well, for now, we'll just call it trusted providers, whatever. Okay. This so gives us a, a way to be able to save this and publish it in just a minute. After you put all of your service providers or their phone numbers, emails, whatever you want to do, I guess you can make another spot over here for um, emails if you wanted to do that. And then I think it would be great to be able to find if they have their own website to backlink it into their the name of the uh, business over here, right? Um, and then if you needed to add some more, again, so you're just gonna go over here um, under, you could sim very simply, because this is just text, right? Um, you could very simply just go over here and take a text box and just add it right here, okay? And then, customize it, make it, you know, another, what do they got on this one? Font size 16, heading one, bold. So down here, you'd probably want to do the same thing, right? Bold, font size 16. And then, what is that? Uh, that looks the same. Engineers, I don't know, contractors, general contractors, builders, something. Sorry, my computer is thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Engcon builder. <laughs> just so no, you can very easily do that just by doing that and then you want to probably space that out I imagine hmm. it's almost to the point where I'm gonna have to go out today and look at computers I'm so frustrated with how slow my computer is doing old school way obviously you could just line it up eyeball it do the, do the space deal there and then um, do another line uh, down below, you know, right? Go to content, put another text, line it up right there and then just build it out that way, okay? If you wanted to add, you know, people to it. Um, if you want to erase it, that, you know, get rid of something, just click on the box that you want to get rid of, and then you'll see that little deal there. If you want to make a new new one, copy it and paste it, you can click on there. It's hard to see the way my UI is set up. I've got it zoomed in a little bit, um, but there's that copy button there. If you wanted to just build out some of the same ones, put it down below, okay? There's other options in here for other pages. Um, I'll go over that with you here also, but down here, there is a inquire now, right? You know, so you could have a chance for them to become a lead by entering their information here. So if you wanted to, right here, look, contact your agent for a city specific utility sheet. You know, if you wanted to, um, have something else of offer that you're, you know, being able to create in a text offer or maybe a video offer or something. You could go in and 
make a video of yourself um, down here. Make this new block and make that block a video, All right? Maybe you have a video that you've put on YouTube, like a private link video for YouTube that you can go in and just make a short little one minute offer that of, of you with your face branded on it, you know, and then just say, hey, if you want this, click down below, uh, just um, fill out the contact information below and I'll send that your way, you know. Now you've got something that you can really um, turn this into a lead capture page for you as well too. But you would just put the link to the video right here in that URL under content. When I added that video, that's, you have to tell the block what type of content you want in that block. You could change it to be a picture and you're literally just clicking and dragging in there. All right. Right now it's a video, but we can change it to image. Hmm. Well, I guess you can't just sub it out for something. I thought you could. Anyway, you get the idea, right? Does anybody have any questions so far? Good. Good, okay. Um, so once you've got your page built out and you wanna publish it, right? You just go up here to the top or you can just save it for later. Maybe you don't know, maybe you're not, you're just working on it, you've run out of time. You can just save it, save your progress, come back to it later. Okay, up at the top right. Um, once you've published it though, then you can actually view it, you know, on the front end and see what it kind of looks like. You know? And it saves it obviously once you've published it as well. Okay, so then once you publish it, now you can view the page and it's full deal right here. Okay, mm. <laughs> that's funny. Mm. Oh, it's a glitch or what? So now, you know, this page, okay, how do people get to this page, right? That's the, that's the question, you know, it's not, how do they know to go to this page, right? <laughs> Where do they find it? How do you direct people to this? So um, it's published, it's sitting out there on the internet right now, it's live on the internet. Google's starting to crawl it. Um, I'll probably go back and actually build this out properly. You know, I'm not expecting anybody to find this, you know, right away, right? Um, because they don't know about it. You're not putting this on social, posting it organically anywhere, tell, driving people back to this page or sending it out in an email yet, you know, but it could potentially be found by people that would happen to start searching for service providers in your area, however you set up those, those Google tags, right? Or, you know, if you, like I said, you want to just take, take a moment to add it to a drop down on your website, you're going to go, when you build a custom page like this, then you're going to want to go over to, um, Website settings, okay, here. And custom navigation. Okay. Custom page links are gonna be um, right here. So you would wanna put the category in my opinion if you're going to build out several that are going to be under the you know if you have a seller's guide a buyer's guide you know trusted service providers list any other resources like that you know um you'd want to they probably all fall under one category so then you could have the category live at the top 
of your page. Okay. And because you've say you built that page to live under that category, it will by default show up. Go over here on this blue button at the top. Once you've saved that, go to the blue button at the top that says view website. And it'll give you your website. And look, now you've got this category sitting up here, guides and resources. And there was my other one. That's the one I was playing around with before I jumped on to just kind of see what this would look like. I don't even think it's going to take. Oh, yeah. The other one's still there. I've deleted it, but I guess they haven't gotten that memo yet. That's the one that we just built trusted providers. Okay. Just make sure that I'm not losing my mind because I'm pretty sure. Go to pages. Once you create, you know, we went to these, these are all the templates, right? That they have available. Once you create one, it lives down here under your, under your pages. Okay. These are all my pages that I've created. This will look different for you, obviously. If you've not built any of them, you're not going to have anything here yet, okay? But um, under guides and resources, yeah, see, we still have this other one that I thought I deleted. Now it's gone. Okay. Now we just have this one that we, you and I created, and then... We'll go back to website settings, custom navigation, guides and resources is already put in there. You can add other ones that you want to live at the top of your website if you want to do that. You can have, um, have my offers right here. This is other, other resource. I have a pros and cons of vacational investing. You know, it's just a blog that I created a long time ago. Now I view my website and I've actually got both that and my guides and resources drop down living right there. That's how that would work. I'll go back. Let's look at some of the other pages that they've got available here. The About Me, pretty self-explanatory. If you don't already have a great About Me page, you can have that live off of the home page of your website. You know, mine, I'll show you. Mine just lives kind of at the very bottom. You have to scroll all the way down my page to get to my about me. I don't want that to be the first thing that people <laughs> see when they land on my website is just all the, you know, me, 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 me. So I... That's my own personal preference, you know, but um, you can have that as a, another resource down here or other agent uh, profile. You'd have it as a drop down under other category, right? And there's just more same thing right here, you know. If you have a team, right, you can build about us page. Let's go back. They have one now for about us for the team. And you can certainly go nuts here too. There's a lot of stuff that's already pre-built out pretty um, intuitively, in my opinion. Um, you just obviously replace all of this with a bio about your team. All right? You've got a contact us button. Where does that go, right? So you'd want it, we want that button to live where this URL right here 
put the URL of where you want them to go. You know, you have a contact me page on your website. That's where I would recommend that they kind of get redirected to, to fill out um, their information and become a lead. Okay. Um, or just a, you know, your phone number and email, I guess it's living on pretty much every page. It should. Um, and then you've got um, our offices. If you have different office locations, you can put those there. I'm trying to think of other ways that, you know, you might want to edit this to be more applicable for you. I was thinking just off the cuff, but this would probably be a cool template for like a neighborhood page because I didn't see in here a buyer's guide, buying a home, a landing, classic landing page, content hijack, lead and background, open house. Let me look at this one. But if you're just, I think, a one-pager to promote your open house, you can build that here with a link back to the IDX listing there if you wanted to. You change out these images by simply just clicking on the image and change image. And then you can put whatever... Um, you've got in your library, or you can upload a new photo right here and then add it in very easily. Anything that's got an image in the template, that's, that's the easiest um, way to edit it out. It's just, you can erase it if you don't even want that box there altogether. You can just have, you know, one, one agent, you know, rather that you can just erase him, erase that. Sorry, my deal is so big right now that I have to like scroll over to see the, all these options. So you could just get rid of all of that. Get rid of the social links for the old one. Then you just have that. All right, gosh. Okay. And then down there. I was just trying to think of that there's a great, you know, for a neighborhood page, that's always been my go to for being able to get some really good Google juice going on your website. Um, the, the Google loves when you could create, a, build out a a whole page that's just all about a neighborhood, you know, a city, if you want to get a little more macro versus, you know, micro, but the more niche that you can get with it, <clears throat> the better um, that people will find you. You know, if, if you're in a high, you know, like Houston, San Diego, you know, New York city, of course, um, wherever, if you're in a market where there are tens of thousands of real estate agents and you can almost bet that they're all, you know, you're in a more highly uh, dense area, it's better for you to, instead of trying to compete at a mac major macro level of, you know, Dallas homes for sale, you know, that's not what we're talking about for, for you know, for sections, you know, you, serve a, a, an area, own an area of a major area. If that's your farm area, you know, uh, the Southeast side, you know, or the Southwest side or the, you know, Lake, um, I don't know, whatever you, you know, your market. So you decide where, where you could have some more niche areas that you could focus in on hot neighborhoods, hot luxury areas, um, uh, whatever, you know, condos uh, in, you know, down, downtown apartments um, in, you know, that's what you want to start thinking about how to be able to really give 
some options for people to um, narrow their search down when they're thinking about where to move in your market, you know, and creating, well, for me, creating video for it. If you've got just some uh, basic neighborhood walkthrough videos, those are great, you know, just have them out there um, on the on the page itself and then have the title for the um, page be whatever, you know, um, East Side Condos in Philadelphia. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, you know, right. And then um, this particular neighborhood that you're talking about that has condos on the east side, you know, you, you could have that live within a whole page that has all about like that area. And then within that page, you would create other, you could create a page that specific neighborhood that lives in that area that you're talking about. Does that make sense? Um, you want to think about building out neighborhood pages where you have potentially pictures of, you know, if you have old listing photos in an area that you've already been taking listings in, use those photos. You know, you don't want to use other agents' photos and steal them off the internet. Don't do that. Um, you know, I have to take some time to go get photos of the of these things if you don't already have them. You know, it takes some time to build these things out, but it's totally worth it because you will start really being able to get um, a lot of uh, organic traffic, free organic traffic to your website when you take the time to build one of these out. Um, and I think, you know, I was just looking at this. I, I, I don't think this would be like the best place for it to live. I mean, as far as like trying to make this template be more um, catered to that. The only thing is, is that you really want to have IDX listings living on that page. And I'm trying to, there's not in any of these um, pages, I'm not seeing, like if you're gonna take this about us page and turn it into a neighborhood farm. I'm not seeing a, a place over here where you could put the listings. You'd have to, what you'd have to do is take this button, for instance, where in this button would be like, see, gosh, when I stop using my keyboard for like five minutes, it just goes to sleep. See homes for sale. in right I don't know whatever you could have that there and then you would have to go and go to your website for me I'll just go to my website here and I would just create a search for what I want to be able to guide people to you know You can actually do neighborhoods in here if you want to go to a specific neighborhood like uh, it's in North. Oh, subdivision. There you go. You do it down there. Yeah. Okay, obviously the city would be Branson, but then you're looking at the um, macro listings that are in available in Branson North, right? The subdivision. And now you've got all the listings currently available. And this would be a live link that would live and be updated when new listings come to market. You don't have to worry about trying to keep this 
um, updated all the time. It would just, this link is going to constantly be updated as they come and go off market. You know, it's going to always just live there for you. And you take this whole big old long URL link, you know, go to your website, create a search of where you want to guide people to those specific type listings. You get the results of it. And this is the URL that you will grab right here. It's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. They're not going to see that, right? It's just going to live on the back end of this button. Copy it. And then on your button right here, you know, where do you want people to go when they click on this button? You fill out the URL right here, and then you just right click, paste it into there. And you want it to be a new page. Always when you're creating a link for a custom page for somebody to click on, Always make sure they're opening that link in a new page. Otherwise, if they, when they click on the link, then they jump off of your page and now they have to figure out how to get back to that page. If they need to go back to, you don't want them to jump off your website. You know, you want them to always open a link in a new page so that your website stays open in its own page. Because Google likes that. The longer they stay on your website, the, the more that they're going to, uh, see uh think that your content is what people want to see if they if they're on it and then they're bouncing within a few seconds that hurts you you know so just a pro tip there um always open a link in, an, in a new page okay then you could cuss you know whatever but that would be you know what i would say is you could write you know here's you know all the things that I love about, you know, living in France and North, you know, whatever, you know, from da 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 da, da to da da, da 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 you can get, you know, the the best types of, you know, the average list to sell price ratio, you know, homes here were built in the, you know, you, your expertise and whatever it is you have to say about that property, that's what you're bringing value to on this page, you know. The more that you can build this out with, I would say 600, at least 600 words on there that would also start implementing things like, um, this is why I feel this is one of the best neighborhoods in Branson, you know, whatever. Best neighborhoods in Branson is gonna be a keyword that people will start, you know, searching for, you know, and then find that on your page. So if you can implement those key phrases into your description that helps um, again with being able to um, Google to crawl your page and start uh, getting it to rank. Okay. Um, but those are just important details you want to be like. Um, all. Or maybe just say living in. France and North. Okay. I'll change this to that's the only way that I could see that you could give people the listings. Ideally, you would want it to live on that page. I just don't see a way that we could actually do that right now. It used to be a dynamic button where you could, well, that was even only for one specific listing. It wasn't even really for like, a, you know, a, an IDX feed deal. I wonder what that is. I'm gonna contact Inside Real Estate and see if there is a workaround to be able to put a this, you want these blocks, these widgets with these homes for sale that they can click on and be able to just go into on that lives on the page for them to be able to just see um, the listing. So I, ideally you just want an IDX feed link that be, can sit on your website to be able to do that. Just the same as these images do, but it would be a, again, deal with the title of the property, the address of the property and the price probably, you know, for them just the same as it shows up right here the basic deals and who's got it listed maybe you know on there i don't know but 
just an idea um, to be able to start thinking about how you can use these to the fullest. Um, obviously, the guides are pretty self-explanatory. You'd want to, they're not really meant to um, be used as a turnkey right, right away. These buyer guide and seller guide resources, you're going to want to build those out some, you know, it's not all done for you completely, but it's a good start. See, they just put a bunch of this Latin gibberish in there as filler. <laughs> and then you'll have to go in and actually talk about the home search process, the offer process, the pre-qualification process, all of that, that stuff. And then they always give an opportunity for people to opt in um, as a lead right there if they have more questions. And that's the most important thing is any page that you'd want to custom build, if you're going to build it from scratch even, always have an option down at the bottom somewhere for them, put, you know, uh, an option for them to enter their information and their phone number at least, you know, for the, to become a lead, right? So um, that's pretty much all I've got for you today. Any other questions? No. Awesome. Well, I hope that you guys found this uh, useful. Again, uh, just back so. with this. Uh, the second Tuesday of every month is when we'll be um, doing these trainings. Um, and I'm going to be coming out with some other videos um, that are going to be separate from KV Core that are just going to kind of talk about best um, <laughs> scripts and dialogues that we can be using in our business to help agents have better conversations with their buyers and their sellers with the NAR settlement changes. So be looking for that on, on this YouTube channel. And that'll live on a separate playlist, uh, obviously, since this has nothing to do with KB Core. But I just really um, am wanting to provide some stuff for my local team here in the Branson area. And of course it would be applicable for anybody within EXP, I guess, um, because we are doing things a little bit different than, um, you know, all of the other national brokerages, um, at least right now, um, but that could change. So um, thanks for attending guys. And that's it. I'm Jason with Great right. Branson Hall, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks Jason. Thank you.